Happy new release day, everybody. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a double header break. Two cases of 2019 Top Series 2 baseball just dropped today. Um, we're doing a hobby case first, then we're doing a jumbo case, then we're ripping your silver packs. There are 24 silver packs in this break. We're going to rip them open and they'll go to the teams. They'll be sorted out to the teams that, um, that you have purchased. And then, just another thing I just want to let you know, that if you're, <coughs> excuse me, if you're in this break, every person that bought a team, we're going to take out a little stack of vet base that we have sorted out. So veteran commons don't ship as usual, but we'll send you a little stack for whatever team you got. So if you bought like five teams, we will get five little stacks of vet base, around 20 cards, and we'll ship that to you as well. Just kind of random vet base. I think that makes sense, right? If you have any questions, let me know in the chat. And there are all the teams right there. Thank you very much, everyone. Ryan got last spot mojo Rockies. There's everyone else right there. Thank you and good luck. So we're going to do the hobby case first, which is 12 boxes, 24 packs per box. And then we'll do the jumbo after that, which is uh, six boxes, 10 packs per box. Grego, what's going on? Oh, nice jersey number. That's pretty nice. I sent the eBay. I think I forgot to attach. All right, so all the all the, all the boxes are right here. Here's what we're looking for, folks: one autograph or relic card in every box. No, I was talking to Jason. So that's what we're looking yeah. for. Good luck, everybody. You can put it in the arcade. Pinball machine. $50. Wait, so for a new store, so for those of you who don't know, we're, we are moving into a larger store at the end of the month. And we've got all sorts of fun plans for it, including, including arcade machines, pinball machines. Where's Curtis? You need to tell Curtis D about the pinball machine. Um, but I guess there's a machine that you can win. That you can put baseball cards in there. Yeah, it's like one of the old school '90s. You had to swing. Oh, the, the bat. baseball game. Yeah. And it's like. Oh, where there's like a little bat that flicks out, right? Like a pinball drops down, and you flick the yeah, bat. Yeah, it's like a little risque too. I I didn't notice like the cheerleaders. And stuff. Oh, all right. A little busty. Okay. All right. All right. But, so I don't, it might be. But like, if you win something, it spits out baseball. Yeah, it spits cards. out a baseball card. Oh, huh. very cool. Maybe we can. In the belt. We'll have to check it out. All right, there you go, folks. So all sorts of fun games will be at the store. So it'll be a good place to visit in the fall, ladies and gentlemen. Direct TV Sunday ticket. <laughs> so you can come and watch football games with us on Sundays. And buy boxes. And buy boxes. And buy boxes and so on. Join group breaks. There'll be someone breaking that day too. So now we're we are a a uh, a destination now. Destination. And hang out in beautiful Redondo or Hermosa Beach, California. Now. I was about to start going through these. Just to <laughs> <laughs> like a no one break. Just force a habit at that point. We could we should set up a dual camera where we're both doing it at the same time. Oh, that would be even faster. Cut off half of the half. All right, just a quick note. This break is going to take a little bit of time. Um, so if you want to take advantage of having Nick helping us out here, then let's fill up the next doubleheader Pick Your Team. Pick Your Team 2, which is only 14 teams away on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Otherwise, the deadline for that Pick Your Team 2 will be around 8.30 Pacific maybe 9 o'clock Pacific around there, depending on where we are. That would make it the last break of the night, and all others filling up after that would be pushed till tomorrow. Because that doubleheader break, if I'm doing it solo, will pretty much take me right to the end of the night. That's some, some of the old designs there. So we'll breeze through these. Obviously, these are inserts. These will all go. Only veteran commons that won't ship. So like that Travis Jankowski, different stamp, right? So that ships. Travis Jankowski without that stamp will that not ship. Numbered? 
Is that numbered? I think it's just stamped. Some of them are computer numbered, so it's kind of tough. But yeah. The computer numbering is kind of a hassle. And obviously, inserts like this will ship. And obviously, everything that's RC, rookie cards, will ship. You'll be getting a lot of stuff. All right, so let's breeze through these. I'm gonna try to keep an eye out on Nick was saying that some of the that Vlad Guerrero Jr. cards are short printed. So I think this is numbered. It's out of 2019. And one autograph or relic per box. In the hobby. And then two autos and one relic in the jumbo, I think. Oh nice. So we'll keep an eye out for Vlad Guerrero Jr. as well. If we happen to miss one, don't don't worry. We'll pull those Vlad Guerrero Juniors who are apparently short printed in this set. Yeah, we're sorting through all of them. So. And um, like this guy right here, there he is. That's a good one. That's kind of crazy. First box. I wonder how short print they are. Oh, we're, we're about to find out. That goes to Stacy, Stacy U, and the Blue Jays. We'll save one of those for you, Stace. Oh, this is gonna be a breeze. Think so? Yeah. I did the Bowman double headers by myself. In like I don't know how you did that. Two, two hours or something. So I didn't even do this. And this has less kind of stuff to know. That's true. Yeah. Um, these will do uh, left, right, and center, left, center, right randomizers on these, just so we know that where they go. We'll set that aside so I can remind myself to do that. I'll try to be. Able, I'll try to pull as many of these numbered cards as possible to help out the shipping team. Obviously, the the ones that are much shorter printed will be able to, to spot a little more easily, like that one out of 67. Just set these right here. But once again, my focus will certainly be on the, um, will be on the relics, the hits, the autographs. So if I happen to miss a numbered card, um, we'll find it. This, Right here, and we'll do a uh, we'll do a hit recap at the end of this too. Oh yeah, we were getting complaints about not doing a hit recap on the what break was it? Uh, oh, I saw that email. Some guy was crying about we yeah. did a hit recap for like a Maybe thirty minute break. Tier one baseball, it was something which are all was, hits or something. It was something silly. It was just like you guys never do hit recaps. <laughs> One of the reasons why I'll never buy from you again. I was like, that's a I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, okay. Just, it was a hit recap. It was like a 30 minute video. But if you're just going to watch the recap, why not just wait until you get it in the mail at that point? At that point, yeah. He was adamant about it. Yeah. Too bad. I'll never see that person again in I our guess life. not. Yeah. <laughs> because once someone says. They'll never buy from us again. Oh yeah, then they then that's, that's <laughs> they're always being hundred <laughs> percent. No one's ever done that. And folks, you know how many times we've heard people tell us they'll never ever buy from us again that we're just snakes. Dozens of times we've been in this business for we've been doing group breaks for years. Coming up for me, coming up on what five years now in the fall. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Jackie just hit two. Dozens. We've heard we've heard it all. Scammers, con artists, bad for the hobby, never buying from you again. Well, you checked. Oh, I think that was maybe number. You did, you did break with. And then maybe a couple months later, we see them buying again, and they're they're just like in the chat as if nothing happened. You did breaks, what, 2010? That was a while ago. Oh, it's just an insert. Did I do breaks in 2010? I thought you did. Oh, yeah, me, me and your brother, and yeah. We we tried. That counts. We did like a case of like <laughs> hockey. Hockey. Like one or two cases. Before then. they even had live streaming. Right. We it was right. Which was which was really difficult because yeah. we had to we had to sell it on eBay. Uh -huh. 
and then so we had to record it, it, upload it, and then make sure there's no edits in the video, otherwise people would freak out right and now. they'd have to just trust that you would, you would send it. Yeah. yeah. I remember doing a great set. Yeah. So. Yeah. The Golden Baseball recap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Someone's people gonna ask like that. Someone, someone's gonna. Yeah. People will ask. Hey, can you just do a recap of just my team? And they're not even in the break time. Jay, what are the dozen one time if you go hit this here? Probably once we get rid of the series one or series two, we'll probably have some more stuff. Up here. We'll there you go, Grego. Yeah. We'll have some more autograph baseballs once we work through all that. All this. At least two, two of them. But yeah, we do have more cases, so we, we have plans to post them uh, later this week. But on it, I think we'll be busy with this new release night, though. Oh, right, we've got, I've got some more stacked over here. I guess I should angle it like that. There we go. All right, let me open up the rest of these, and we'll, and we'll start going with stacks. I think we've got a good stack that I can start working through now. All right, so coming up after this will be Noir Basketball, Pick a Team 1. So this this is going to take us a little bit of time. But we should be ready to do some Noir around 5.30 Pacific, around there. Give or take 15, 20 minutes or so on either, on either side. Um, so if you're, if you're waiting for the basketball, you're like, I don't want to sit through this series too. You don't have to. You can come back around 5.30 Pacific. And then that shouldn't take very long. 15, 20 minute break maybe. I think it's only four boxes a case. So we'll be done with that very fast. And so that should bring us around 6 o'clock-ish Pacific, which uh, I don't know what we're going to do after that. I'm looking on the website right now. It looks like, it's like maybe Finest Baseball. Noir 2 is down to 10, so that's almost in single digits. So if you want to start getting that on the docket... We can. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's breeze through these. I know the boxes are kind of mixed up a little bit, but when you look at the hit recap, you'll be able to see the proper number of hits, which would be, what, 20 in this case? No, 12. <laughs> I don't know how many are in here. 12. 12 in this case. Have you gotten a hit yet? Uh-huh. The bat. Trevor Story bat. Did I not say it? I don't remember it. Ryan L. Trevor Story bat. So that was box one. Oh, yeah. I can't remember now. So all will be clear in the recap. All will be revealed. Maybe they aren't short printed. Maybe they're not short printed? Maybe there's a short print photo. Oh, maybe there's a short printed version. That makes sense. Maybe him in the field or something like that. Yeah. Or else we just got really lucky. Yeah, those are the hands above my head. Are actually, yes, my hands, Judy. Um, just for this break this alone, feet. I have the mutant power to, um, to grow a couple extra arms when necessary. So my other set of arms, which are, are coming out of my lower back and is on this camera over here, is helping me rip some packs. Kind of U.S. Open picks, Mark Nowalski. Yeah, where's where's Mark? Where's Mark? No, and we've got one of these. I love these. Dave Winfield. Ooh, that's cool. It's an '84 oh. design, right? Yep. That's cool. On that old design, Dave Winfield. That is for the Yankees. That is for Monty. Out of twenty-five, too. There you go. 35th anniversary. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, that's a classic design. All right, apologies for not putting these cards right side up, but this break's going to take way too long if I try to adjust all of that. You can delete those. Okay. 
I was just doing it if it if it's easier for you to count. Um, anyone have any U.S. Open golf picks? Have to, I think most books have you want them to get you, get them in by Thursday. I have to submit my picks tonight. My oh yeah, for your pool. How's that? How are you doing in that pool? Uh, the first one I came in second. The first. The was masters. The players. The players was first. Oh right, right, right. And then, the masters I did very poorly in. Or no, what was the last one? PGA Tour. PGA. The, I did that poorly in that. I did okay in the Masters. Bad in the PGA. Because I didn't have Kepka. Oh, I see. And he just dominated. Until he choked kind of at the end. But then won by a stroke. And then I think Kepka's a favorite for this one. Oh, shoot. Or backwards. Oh. <laughs> that would drive the shipping team crazy. Um... Well, so then there's U.S. Open and then maybe British Open after that, and that's it? This one is, yeah, U.S. Open, and then British Open, and then that's all five. So there's, oh, so there's only, I think there's only four majors in tennis. Yeah, I think there's, or maybe, Australian, the, maybe the players is an O. Australian, um, uh, French. A major. Wimbledon and U.S. Open for tennis. There's yeah. only four for tennis. Forgot about this guy. On a 76. That'll go to the Pirates. Kramer. Oh no, that's Newman. Newman. There's a Kevin Newman too. There's a Kevin there's Newman. Kevin and then a, there's a Newman and a Kramer, yeah. Newman. They just need to get a Seinfeld. And they're both in the Pirates. And right? an Elaine, yep. Wow. And then they'll have they'll have <laughs> it all. A Jerry. Or a George. Need a George too. Players is not a major, says Mark Matheson. There you go. That's right. They just included it just in, in our pool. In your pool. There's Roger Clemens in that 84 design. Serial numbered for the Red Sox. Ryan, what's going on? You didn't miss much. You you missed. You missed you got that. A Trevor Story bat. Yeah, you got a Trevor Story bat relic. Of your last spot mojo. I haven't been stacking these in boxes because they're kind of tall. I don't want them yeah, to that's fine. kind of tip over. It's all good. We'll have a recap. Like an iceberg. Like the Titanic. We don't want to end up Titanicing this. It's, it's been long enough to say that, right? What? Titanic jokes. Yeah, it's, yeah, we can do Titanic jokes. Really? It's not too soon, right, folks? Are Titanic jokes up for grabs? You see the one guy who... Watch, someone in the chat is going to be like, Mark Matson's going to be like, I had, my great-great-grandfather was... <laughs> there was a... Like, oh, on weird. Reddit, you know how they always like post like the... On the homepage, there's always like these uplifting ones. This right. guy, he saved a bunch of people in Titanic, and then he enlisted in the war and like saved a bunch of people in the war. Too. What? <laughs> I was like, what? It was crazy. Man. That would be like World War One or something like that, right? Yeah. Like he saved just, a bunch just of people. Just saving lives. After. That was crazy. There's Manny Machado. <laughs> yeah, Mark Matt's like, how'd you know? And then it would be like figures. We make a Titanic joke and then... Mothro, what's going on? Arson. Arson. Arson just like joke. That's how I hear it in my head. Joke. Arson. What about the Titanic moth or not? We were just we we're just wondering if it's okay to make jokes about the Titanic if it's not too soon. Right? But I don't know. Not really mean jokes. Not mean jokes. Just like, oh, this is gonna tip over like the Titanic day. Right. But is that insensitive? Like a lot a lot of a lot of souls were lost to the ocean that That's day. That's true. But it wasn't like a terrorist act. It's true, it was not. It was Unless it was an inside job. Natural natural <laughs> inside job. <laughs> Like he purposely drove into the iceberg. Ooh. Has there ever been a conspiracy like that? No, but we can start one. We can start it. I've always wanted to start an internet conspiracy. 
or like the Titanic didn't happen. That's what it's going to be saying. <laughs> the Titanic didn't happen. Like yeah. Robert Ballard, like the uh, oceanographer, just like planted it down there <laughs> yeah. and created this whole story. It was just uh, who Him did and James Steve Cameron? Spielberg? Oh, James Cameron. Yeah, yeah, he just he did it just to sell tickets to a movie. He made up the whole story, Hollywood. Just so it was a long play. Yeah. Uh, Alfred, what's going on, man? I would love to fill series two while Nick is still here to help us out. So it'd be it'd be pretty awesome. I don't remember the Andrea Doria. What what is that? Is that another boat? I, I think it is a ship, but I don't remember the circumstances around that. It's in foreign country. You know what I heard someone say about all the horses dying, all the race horses dying Santa in Santa Anita? Yeah. That someone's actually murdering these horses. Whoa. That's what a conspiracy that would be, right? It's like, like someone who what no other there? track is having that kind of issue, right? At so, least, no. at least at that scale. Yeah. So. Well, I think it's just something. How this track is built, like something crashed under it or something. What? I don't know. It's, so, it's a really weird story. It's a very weird story. Like, uh, like I mean, another horse died today, yeah. yeah. And so, like, and that's such I don't a know. Nice track. Maybe, the, maybe the conspiracy is that someone's actually murdering these horses. But what's, There's Alex Bregman to 150. What's causing it? How would they cause the horses to get injured in the first place? I don't know. Maybe they're, like, poisoning their, their legs. Their, their, I don't know, yeah. Their food. Who knows? The Bregman will go to... James With and all the, the Astros. Money in the horse industry, you think they'd be able to figure it out? Oh, just redo the track. I think they sh they shut it down for a while and redid it, and it's still happening. And it's still happening. Yeah. See something? Something fishy. Something fishy. Human hands. It's by human hands. Someone's just injecting horses with like oh, too much adrenaline. Or something. Something. I oh, I don't remember that Seinfeld episode. There's a Seinfeld episode for every scene. Christian Vasquez. Yeah, those aren't numbered. That trips me out. Yeah. Definitely I was thinking numbers. it's going to be like out of four ninety nine or something. That's right, Jim Gray. We got Nick Jaspi helping out today. At least for this first break here. And um, if we can fill up Pick Your Team 2, that I think that would be nice while we have Mr. Nick Jaspi here to help us out. Otherwise, doing it solo will take us forever. <laughs> will take me forever. So if you guys want to knock out another dual doubleheader break tonight of the brand new Top Series 1 Baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com, get into it. We're actually in single digits, so it's possible we can do this by the end of the break. We still have like an hour and a half to go. So plenty of time to try to fill that one up. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a mixer. It's a, it's a Series 2 Jumbo and a Series 2... Hobby version mixer. Sorry. Jumbo is kind of more hits oriented. There's Cody so. Bellinger coming into focus. It'd be a little more fireworks than that one. So yeah, Alfred really wants to see Pick Your Team 2. Yeah, let's get it done. It's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think there's only like 14 teams left. You see the whole controversy about the U.S. women's soccer team? What, like... Like, we scored too many goals? Well, I think a lot of people are saying that they were celebrating. Oh. Like, big dance I, celebrations. No, forget it. I don't think... I mean, Thailand should stop them then, you know? Right, stop them yeah. Stop score goals. Yeah. Play some defense, Thailand. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want them celebrating so much. I don't think Thailand even cared. Yeah, I don't think... I think so. it's other people who are like, oh, media, I feel sorry yeah. for Thailand. Yeah. Why are they celebrating goal 12, you know? Yeah. Like, come on. You know what? Some of those girls are never going to score. Like the girl who scored like World goal Cup thirteen goal, yeah. isn't going to, you know, maybe may have been like a defender who's never going to score a goal again. Right. You know, so. It was only thirteen goals. Right. It was only thirteen. <laughs> Everything ships. Good one, Arson. It's a good joke. I know all those mail packages going out to people behind Joe's head. Oh yeah. Come on, postal service. They're coming. Today. Pick it all up today. <laughs> Yeah, there's even more outside. No one's going to steal those? I mean, that felt different. That's out of 99. It's a, more of a paperback instead of a 
glossy back. Set that aside. Yeah, we're almost done with this one. Nice. What are we at? 24 minutes. We're breezing through. This is going to be an hour and a half. If it is an hour and a half, we better fill up that pick your team too. Yeah, the next one. Just so we can Just get that. Just do all three and then we're done. We'll do all, yeah, we should do all three and then Duar the rest of the night and then we're done. And then Duar the rest of the weekend. Autograph baseballs, mixers. And then done. Cool Whoa. medallion coming up here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Is that trout right there? Yeah. Yeah, nice. And that's the Players Weekend jerseys too. Did you hit a home run that day? That's a great shot. That's nice. That's for the Angels. And then the home run challenge, obviously, we'll just, we'll just send those to the to the teams. You can play the little game. I know. We should have company expense food tonight. No time to eat them. Yeah, no, no time to eat, Jim. We just... We you just, gotta get one of those we camel. You we gotta just get ate a, a camel back. <laughs> <laughs> we just ate a bunch of diet pills and we're just uh, <laughs> we're just ready to go. That's what you have to do. With <laughs> Sal Perez medallion. Oh man, Camelback breaks. Sponsored by Camelback. It's the endurance break. And just just have like vitamin filled nutrients just drinking through. <laughs> yeah. Out of one hundred and fifty. And you have to be on a treadmill while doing it. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, David Bruins with the Royals. We were uh, we were doing uh, Rory and I thought of uh, fit breaks. We're, do some exercises, yeah. right? On a live stream, you exercise together and then you open up some breaks. That'd be good in Hermosa Beach. I Every single person that, yeah. is like everyone would do it. Perfect shape. Uh, this is series two SNR, and no, we we are anti DoorDash. Yeah, we are we are a non DoorDash. Especially one delivery driver. Yeah. DoorDash. Lame dash. Burn. Um, oh, and also, Jim, in case you were wondering, we I, I already ate. I, I came into the shop extra early, knowing that we'll have a busy day. More like door dope. And then uh, ate, some, uh, ate some food. Got fueled up. I'm, I'm ready to go. I probably won't have to eat again for another handful of hours until later tonight. We're an Uber Eats family. Postmates? No, lame mates. <laughs> yeah, Grubhub. We're about the Grubhub. Oh, no. We'll do some it's Grubhub. It's owned by the same. No, Door Grub, Grubhub is uh, E24. Oh, uh, that's right. They One of them bought out the other. Yeah, but there's controversy with Grubhub. Why is there controversy with Grubhub? I will talk about it. Did, they get, did Grubhub get Me Too? No. It's, oh. it's more like politics. I won't oh. It. Bryce Harper or <laughs> yeah Matt Harper the janitor at the <laughs> Derek Harper SNR, SNR met the ballpark janitor <laughs> Frank Harper Bryce Harper's dad who did the the uh, home run derby when he pitched to Bryce Bryce Harper's dad was jacked right yeah he was really jacked there's Bo Jackson that's Nick Birdie that's Bo Jackson And a two ninety nine. So those will be set set aside. So we'll sleeve and top load those before they go out. Man, we're gonna have more room to pack stack in the store. Oh yeah, we could probably we could probably get cables to put the, a wireless. Put the computer on the floor here. This auction warehouse, they were streaming it on Facebook Live, and they had a wireless camera. I wonder what? If they did it. And they were streaming on. Facebook I want a wireless camera. And they were moving around. It was on this yeah. big station. Oh, like one of those steady cam things the guy has it on the. But I don't know how they stream it with a wireless camera on a from a computer. Maybe two, they have a streaming two, setup. 2019. Yes. Okay. So now we're now we're Gucci. Nice, nice. Raising the house. Let's go Sheesh. Bruins. He said, "Yeah, who does everyone have in the? We've got plenty of time to chat about all sorts of random stuff." Bruins are heavy favorites. Are they really? Yeah, I think. One Everyone's minus off. 150. Really? Yeah. I actually would probably take the Blues. I don't think home ice matters much in hockey because the home, the road team in the Stanley Cup this year has actually won more games. Mm. I think four versus two. Bruins won two in St. Louis, I think, and then St. Louis won two in Boston, and then 
Which one won one at home? I would go blue. I thought of 50, Matt Shoemaker. You heard it here first, folks. Nick's going, Nick's going with the blues. If I had to. I don't think he's actually playing it, but if he did, you'd go blues. I think there's but value in the what blues. What if David Ortiz comes out after getting shot? Then it's an oh, automatic that, that would, that win. Would it's an automatic Bruins win. Hold on, let's talk about that for a second. It's an automatic. Did you see the rumor? That it was a hit. No, that oh. he was sleeping with a drug dealer's. So wife. it was a hit. <laughs> yeah, he was sleeping with like the biggest drug dealer's wife. Don't do that, David Ortiz. That'll, <laughs> yeah. that'll get you killed. <laughs> because and then there's even more. I mean, that was New York Post or something. So I, I mean, not the biggest. But still. But still, it's out there. Wow. Allegedly, I should say. I don't want to get killed by yeah. the mafia or David Ortiz. Cartel. Is <laughs> cartel. Wow. I think so, Bruins, Bruins are minus 180, really? Maybe I was looking at the puck line. So lesson learned, ladies and gentlemen. Do not sleep with the wives of uh, drug lords. There's Matt Carpenter relic. Game used relic for the Cardinals. That'll be for Bill. But yeah, that the whole story is crazy. Did That's you crazy. See the video? The video is scary. Video is just He's scary. just sitting there at a bar and hanging out. It's wild. And some guy just popped. And I mean, and it's like he didn't he didn't want to kill him. That was the thing. But so is he just saying a message? I don't know because wouldn't you like shoot him in the head if you want? Well, to yeah, that's what I thought too. So. Maybe, maybe. Well, that guy's definitely dead. Well, that's just like the a suicide. Hitman? Yeah. The hitman's definitely He's, dead because they, he, they had videos of him getting beat up by people in the streets. Oh, yeah, the hit, hitman definitely dead. He's just like he got scared. He's like, I can't shoot David Ortiz. It could break tonight. We'd have to sell out number two. Yeah, well, Evan, we, yeah, we'd have to sell out two first, we do number two first before we start thinking about three. Each of these breaks are about a couple, couple hours long, so, you know, and we only break until 11 o'clock LA we time. We are sold out, too. And, yeah, there's other breaks that we got to do as well, but, so. I mean, if we hustle, though, yeah, we can do it. We can get it in. So if anybody wants to get Pick Your Team 2 and 3 done tonight, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com right now and start getting your orders in. Yeah, that whole thing is crazy. That awesome. But yeah, if, if he went to the Bruins game, then St. Louis might as well not even come out. Well, Ray saying saying that they did like a video of Ortiz. He has like a video message, apparently. Oh, that even might bring the house down. Even if... I was saying, what if they brought him out on a stretch? Uh, just... Oh, man, that would bring the house down. Different for a second, but it's not. Is Kershaw pitching? No, he's just trying to be funny. Huh. But is he healthy right now? Uh huh. I feel like I haven't heard about him in a while. He's been he's been pitching pretty steadily, pretty solidly. It's, uh... Ryu's been really good this year, huh? He's, he's, he's like the he's, fifth and, in NL war. player, NL player of the month. You know who's like third in WAR is Mike Miner. Yeah, isn't that crazy for the Rangers? Yeah, yeah, he's been actually he's having a having, having a great season. How many cards are in this break? Because uh, Mike Trout just passed Cody Bellinger for for war. war. Yeah, Bellinger has been slumping about last in the last week. He's only hitting like 370 now. I know. <laughs> 360. Scrub, send him down. <laughs> so 14 cards times per pack times, times 24 12. in the box times 12 in the case. So that's what's in the hobby. Jumbo's a lot more. Or maybe you're on the same. Less packs. Oh yeah, that that's what that's what some people were saying yesterday that that Taves puck should go for a lot. Yeah, that's a good one.
Sanchez. Oh yeah, I think Roy Holiday son did get drafted, right? In like the very last round by the Blue Jays. I thought that was a nice gesture. I don't know if he's gonna ever reach the majors. I think he went to college instead. Oh, he went to college instead. But I think that's a very nice gesture. Get well, Big Boppy. I think that might be, yeah. Does that have a different code? I'll check. It looks like a photo variation of some sort. So we'll set that David Ortiz aside. It looks like a different variation there. Yeah, I think most of the players' pictures are them in action somehow. And uh, right here, not in action, so. Make like sure. In the insert spot. Oh, I see. Cause they drafted him in the 30 second round because Halliday was there. Okay, that's cool. It's even better, more symbolic. Roy Holiday Hall of Famer? I think he's in the Hall of Very Good. Is Cliff Lee a Hall of Famer? Hall I of very don't good. think so. I, I think he's also Hall of Very Good. Cliff Lee a Hall of Famer, ladies and gentlemen? Roy Holiday a Hall of Famer? Is Holiday going as a Blue Jay or a Philly? Hmm, that I don't know. Ooh, look at this. Nolan Ryan. This actually got some weight to it. That's Angel's edition of Nolan Ryan. And that'll be for Mark Glassman. 29 out of 150. Nice. Those are nice. I think you need a 180 for this. I think it's too, too much for 180. Too, too, yeah. Well, we'll make sure we blue tape that up a little bit so it doesn't rattle around. You already got inducted? news to me. Or he's going to be inducted uh, this year. Is he gonna, what, what are you saying, Arson? That Holiday's 2019 class? Oh, yeah, he was... Uh, oh, he got inducted he, this he year. He elected this year, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I can never say that word. I won't attempt it because I'll embarrass myself. But post... Post-mortem? Post... Not post-mortem. Post... Posthumously. Yeah. That's the word. I always say hummus. Pass hummusly. So he's not going with any team hat eyes? Oh, okay. Oh, because he can't shoot it, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Is Johan Santana a Hall of Famer? Johan Santana, not a Hall of Famer. He was awesome for a while with the Twins. Yeah. Then the Mets. Four time All Star, two time Cy Young. How do you want a triple crown and pitch it? ERA, strikeouts, strikeouts and, and wins. Whip. Oh, win. wins. Wins, yeah. And, and he's a no-hitter, too. But yeah, maybe not enough years. Cliff Lee's on next year's bet. Is Cliff Lee a Hall of Famer, everybody? Cliff Lee had some good years, but maybe not enough. Who are the active Hall of Famers? Other than the obvious ones. Trout, Hall of Famer. Kershaw's Kershaw's Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Scherzer, Hall of Famer. Scherzer, I guess, yeah. Verlander. I think Verlander is really gunning for those 300 wins. I think he'll pitch as long as he can for that. SNR is thinking Lee, not first ballot, but eventually. Mookie Betts, probably. Mookie Betts could be a Hall of Famer. Miguel Cabrera, Hall of Famer. Yeah, Miggy's a Hall of Famer for sure. First ballot. For sure. Harper, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think he's. Bryce Harper, on no. The track. He could be, but. Could be, but. No. Kind of underproducing, but. 
Charles Evans says Verlander Hall of Famer. Scherzer is pretty close to confirmed. I think Scherzer will be Hall of Famer for yeah. Assuming he keeps. Um. Felix Hernandez, Hall of Famer? King Felix? He is a no hitter. Or, yeah, perfect game, no hitter. Oh, uh, Pujols, Hall of Famer, duh. All right, yeah, Pujols still active. He's a Hall of Famer. He's been playing for like a good 15 years, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Who is, uh, Adrian Nice. Belcher Why, dude? David Z saying, receive my package from Jaspies. Have to say, absolutely love how you guys organize and label everything. Thanks a ton. You are welcome. Email our shipping team. Let them know. They love positive or is he feedback. Still playing? Dave, Jaspie's case breaks at gmail.com. I thought this was last year. Wait, who? Adrian Beltre. Did he retire? Beltre is retired. That's right. And he will be a first ballot Hall of Famer. 3,000 hits. 3, first ballot, you think? Mm hmm. There's not a, apparently, there's not a lot of uh, third baseman in the Hall of Fame. Oh. Okay. It's a little light on third baseman. Because was Craig Biggio to, a first ballot? I think Bijou was a first ballot. Because he had 3,000 hits and people There's Byron Buxton. Kind of iffy sometimes. I think him playing on the same team his entire career also helps with voters. Yeah, that makes sense. Twins bat relic going to... Even though it shouldn't. Jason Waters. Really? I mean, it really, yeah, really. But he's it got 3,000 hits. And Yadier Molina. Plays with the same team. Yadier's a first ballot Hall of Famer. Joey Votto. Uh, yes. Yeah? Definitely, yeah. All right, okay. Joey Votto. Posey. Posey's catcher with two MVPs and a World Series ring, a couple of them. A couple of them. Yeah, three World Series rings, whatever. Freddie whatever. Freeman, maybe? We're not really counting. We're not really Kinda counting Giants World Series rings. Freddie Freeman's on the cusp. CC Sabathia, maybe? He's Sabathia got a, he's could. He's got a ton of strikeouts, right? Oh, yeah, sorry. That Muncie is out of 76, by the way. Zach Grinky? Historical comp is Mike Mucina. I think Mus He's kind of a borderline. I think Grinky. Mucina was borderline. He got in recently. Yeah. Grinky's kind of weird, so maybe he won't. <laughs> Yo, yeah, because it's like still writers. Have yeah, to it's writers. So yeah. You kind of have to I shouldn't say have weird, to campaign. he's just not very outgoing. Craig Kimbrell, maybe? Yeah, we, uh, we do love those. That's what I do at the end of the breaks. Is, is to print out those labels for the shipping team so they can put them on the packaging. Because, yes, a lot of people like yourself join uh, multiple breaks throughout the week, you know, and a number of breaks throughout the day. And if you're lucky enough to get hits, and especially if you're like, let's say you buy into a couple Series 2 breaks, right, on jazbeescasebreaks.com, you want to know, hey, which one came from break one and which one came from break two. So, yeah, we try to keep that as organized John as John Carlos possible. Stanton averages about 23 home runs. Over the next 10 years, he'll reach 500. 33. Uh, what about Arson saying Chase Utley? What do you think about Chase Utley? Well, he's not active. Oh, no, he's like, he's no longer. We're, we're talking active players who are who are Hall of Famers. But Chase Utley's kind of borderline, right? Play with the Phillies. I think for Chase Utley's borderline. But I don't know enough about defensive. Do, do you think writers take that? Mm. Like Omar Vizquel. They'll take, like, if you are, like, a ten-time Gold Glover, I think they'll take it into like account. Omar Vizquel, he's not. But if like you're right? you're if you're like defensive run saved, I don't think they're looking at that. Yeah. Evan says, yeah, I think Sabathi does have the counting stats. Jose so, Altuve, maybe. He's got. He's he got a little bit of weight. He has a ways to go, but yeah. Oh, uh, Altuve. I guess Ichiro retired this year. Kind of played those first few games. Robinson Cano. This says already fully qualified. Cano? Robinson Cano? This is what ESPN says. Fully qualified. We got two relics in here. Stuck right next to each other. Chris Davis. Relic. Using that old mid-80s design. Getting the relic. And Eric Rittenhouse with the A's. And right behind him is Jay Hay. Jason Hayward. Major League material going to Robert Grease and the Cubs. 
Yeah, they call him the Silver Fox around here. He actually was on the Dodgers network last night doing some pre pre and post. It says Cano, top 10 second baseman, because he has more than 300 home runs and should surpass 2,500 hits. I guess you're right, yeah. Plus he played with the Yankees. If Cano can get like his, can get 3,000 hits, well, I'm sure he can get 3,000, right? Yeah, if he can reach 25 this year, then no, I don't think so, because then he'd need... Like five more years? Yeah, I don't think... You don't think he's gonna, his body's not going to make it five more years? Maybe, I guess. Remember when Max Muncy tattooed one right there into the bay? And then Bummer, Bum, Mass and Bumgarner, like, he has a girl's name. He got he got pissed that Muncy wasn't running out of the box. And then Max Muncy said, if you don't like it, you can go get it out of the ocean. Yeah, get out of here, John. Mass and Bumgarner Hall of Famer. If he hadn't gotten hurt on a motorcycle. <laughs> Mass and Bumgarner, yeah, if Mass and Bumgarner... Didn't didn't like screw like a season and a half of his career falling off a dirt bike, then yeah he might be a hall of famer. Cause that those postseasons, man. Yeah, crazy. I mean he was pretty dominant. Those were insane. Um, Evan saying Utley is close to hall of fame average second baseman in Jaws and other hall of fame metrics. He'll likely get in. Not yeah, for, not first ballot though, right? But I feel like people don't like him because of what he did with the Dodgers this couple postseasons ago. Maybe the writers won't like him. Oh, because he, like, Slid broke him. Ahmed Rosario's leg or something like that? Yeah. I mean, kind of would be. Ty Cobb's in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Julius Joe Jackson isn't, right? Pete Rose isn't. That's so crazy to me, too. I wonder if Pete Rose will get in while I'm still alive. Mm. You don't well, I'll so? bet Pete, Pete Rose will have to die first. Yeah. I think. I don't oh, think, really? I don't think, you think so? Yeah, I don't think Pete Rose is getting in while he's alive. But I think wow. Players Committee will put him in after he's dead. Because I don't think they want him to make a speech. <laughs> like, they don't want him to go yeah. in there and then talk about gambling and bring all yeah. that back up and blah, 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 blah. Or they just elect him and tell him that he can't show up, though. I mean, they couldn't do that, though. Like, yeah, but, like, under the table. But, yeah, you're probably right. Miguel Tejada, sorry, not Ahmed Rosario. Miguel Tejada was the guy that Chase Utley broke his No, leg. it couldn't have been Miguel Tejada. Maybe he ruined a second player's career. Miguel Tejada wasn't playing a few years ago. You sure it was Miguel Tejada? Who was it? But maybe that happened like 10 years ago. And I think, I think not, not like A's Miguel Tejada, like a new, El, new Miguel Tejada maybe. Not like, not like Orioles Miguel Tejada? No, I don't think it was that Miguel Tejada. That's Miguel Andujar going to uh, Monty with the Yankees. I'll get it right now. Ruben Tejada. Ruben Tejada. Ruben Tejada. That's I was going to say, was. Miguel Tejada, he was playing. Yeah, Miguel years. Tejada was not on the Mets a few years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Miguel Tejada was one of my favorite players. I like Miguel Tejada. What's up, Johnny O? Get a great batting stance. Grego, you think that Pete will get in when he's alive? I don't think. I, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, he could. I just don't think. That he will. I what think. About, I think they're gonna wait till he's dead. Then they'll put him in. They'll put up the plaque saying he was an incredible guys. hitter. And then a Rod. That's it. A Rod will get about, in. You don't think he'll get in? A Rod will get in. I think. What about McGuire? Then he. Then McGuire has to get in. And see, that'll be the and ironic Sosa part. Sosa and all those guys. See, Alex Rodriguez is in the uh, is in the broadcasting booth. He's one of the journalists now. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. They're gonna be like, oh, do I have to run into Alex Rodriguez when we? When That's we're unfair. You can't have. I, I, but Hall of Fame is about campaigning too. No, but I'm saying like, there has to be something against A Rod's life that is not good. Like he has J Lo now. He has <laughs> millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. He's got. He's, he's got, got no Hall of Fame. He's got a painting of his head on top of a centaur's body. <laughs> he's got an oil painting of that. He peed on that guy's rug that one time. And then no, no one cares apparently. Yeah. I don't think McCutcheon will play long enough to get the stats. Cause he got he he's out for the whole year this year too, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. Longo, I don't think maybe. Longo is good, but yeah, maybe not. Maybe he's not quite there. Maybe not high I don't know that that move to San Francisco. I don't think did did him any favors. Well, he was traded, right? Or was yeah, he was traded. Yeah. yeah, and I think that kind of. I don't know what it. Maybe the weather. I don't know. Depressed some of his stats. Yeah. 
McCutcheon, too. What about Mothon? What about Prince Fielder? I guess he's not nice. Prince Fielder had some good years, but not good enough. Yeah, Prince Fielder, it was that, it was that neck thing that, yeah. that I think derailed his career. Yeah, I think maybe if Longo stayed on the Rays, Arson, I agree with that. Maybe that could have, you know, stayed with the Rays his entire career and yeah, put, put up some decent numbers. Then, yeah. 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 From Whittier. Jimmy Rollins. Is Evan Longo from Whittier? Yeah. I had no idea. He went to Real Honda for one year. Huh. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Benny, you're thinking Jimmy Rollins Hall of Fame? I don't think I know Jimmy Rollins stats off the top of my head to have an opinion on that. I just want Sammy Sosa in the Hall of Fame. See, that's what might help him, Jim. Uh, Longo playing third base. Yeah. Josh Hamilton, no way. What he did to the Angels, Josh Hamilton, he should have to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know it's not... I guess totally his fault, but he should have paid the money. Downey, but yeah, but that's still that's still so around here. There he is. There's Evan Downey. Longoria. Oh, Downey, right there. That's like Alex Verdugo. He's half Mexican. born in born in Downey too. Verdugo is Mexican too. I didn't know that. Alex Verdugo. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think he's like the youngest of a big family. I think. I think he's the only one that doesn't speak Spanish. He says. <laughs> He was just like, I don't know, but I had like time I had like you know, three or four siblings ahead of me, they all speak Spanish and yeah. I'm the only by the by the time I was growing up. Uh this is up, Mothro. I your post about Star Wars Galaxy Edge, the top ten items ranging from two hundred all the way to twenty five thousand top what, expensive things? I don't think Josh Hamilton has any shot of getting in the Hall of Fame unless he comes back and hits 400 home runs. <laughs> right. I mean, he was good, but he also killed a guy. Did he kill a guy? We go over this. Every, oh, every, yeah, that's every right. Every time I backstab. Josh, Josh Hamilton <laughs> did kill a man. Right, I forgot about that. I mean, that's it's sad. really sad. So did Laura Bush. I don't know that one. She killed a man. The First Lady? Yeah, our first lady, Laura Bush. How? I think I think it was like it was like in the sixties. Oh, a car accident. <laughs> it was like a car accident. Like uh, Princess Diana. Yeah, I, no, I don't know if it was like Princess Diana, but I I think she may have run you know, a stop who did sign. Was or... an actress too who did that. Who was or an actor? Think, uh... Who was the guy in Ferris Bueller? Who's Ferris Bueller? Matthew. Uh, McConaughey, Bro Broad Broderick, Broderick, Matthew Broderick. Broderick. Killed a guy. He killed a guy. For family in a car accident, and he got away with it. So well, I just I just learned the other day that Venus Williams killed a guy. I remember that one. <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> no. OJ? Yeah, the the car chase. No, the the killing of the oh. son. Oh. That's crazy. Twenty five thirty. Years, I thought you meant the drive. Yes, Evan saying Matthew brought it, killed someone in Europe with his car and got very lenient punishment. I don't think, I don't think Venus actually killed someone. Someone ran into Venus's car, I think, and then died. And then they just settled out of court because they were attempting to claim it was Venus's fault. But police reports indicate that it was not Venus's fault. Can you make sure he works for the post office? What is 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 that Cheech and Chong picking up our? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need to see a badge. Like, for no, no, no. He's he's wearing he's 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 wearing the right pants. He's wearing post he's wearing post service pants. Well, you can buy those at Goodwill probably. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's driving that truck unless he stole that postal truck. <laughs> you can probably buy those at a car auction. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's a, a there's a questionable gentleman picking up your hits right now, folks. 
I don't know, man. That's that is not that's not government regulation bandana <laughs> that he's wearing. Yeah. Shit, she can drop. That is that is not a USPS. I'm going to report Yeah. That is not USPS issue bandana that he's wearing. Someone might be stealing your packages right now, folks. Nah, he's in a van. He's good. He stole the van. <laughs> he stole the car. He's like, I know where to hit Jaspies. Uh, Evan's like, I love the trivia that that you have that we're going through that we haven't know. Didn't um uh, didn't um didn't Mark Hamill kill a guy? No, I think Mark Hamill just got in a bad car accident, and that's why he has that scar in uh in Return of the Jedi. Did Philly fanatic killed somebody. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the. Oh, it was in it was an Empire. Gotcha. He got in a car accident before Empire Strikes Back. Matthew Broderick on August fifth, nineteen eighty seven, while driving a rented BMW, he crossed into the wrong lane and collided into a Volvo. Oh, don't drive in two, Europe. Two people during the filming, of. No, he was vacation with Jennifer Grey, who he began. Dating oh right, 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 right. That was, and they were secretly dating. Yeah, yeah and then there, everyone that's knew. That's sketch. That's sketch, for sure. <clears throat> Did Princess Diana drive in a car crash? Uh, no. Well, she was in a car that got into a car crash that killed her. Yes. In like what a the... tunnel in France. Wait, the allegedly like the paparazzi were chasing them on motorcycles, and the driver was driving too fast. And... Who's the and old guy in the royal family? He's not called the king, right? Uh, Prince Charles. Didn't he get in a car crash and kill somebody? Too? I don't know if he killed anybody. I think that was a few years ago. <laughs> There's a shocking amount of people that kill people and then like... Gritty's the greatest mascot of all time. Don't hate on Gritty. And then get away with it. Gritty's awesome, man. What I'd are you talking about? Gritty definitely killed someone. I'd love to have Gritty as a Jaspie's mascot. He's Jaspie colors. He's awesome with his eyes. <laughs> no. Yeah. He's so scary. Yeah, he's, ter he's terrifying. Him versus Bailey, who wins? Have you seen him? He's terrifying. He gives you that, like, <laughs> smile. It gives you that weird, I don't know. Gritty definitely kills... Gritty has dead eyes. Griff, Griff, uh, Gritty definitely kills Bailey and then eats her. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Gritty would. Gritty eats lions. What's the what's the thing in that cave in Star Wars? Channel, is it? No. No, it's it's some dude pretending to be Layton and then spamming our channel because. He didn't hit with Layton, and he didn't hit with Jaspies, so he's going to try to make everyone look bad. That's going through the time of saving the logo, putting it on. I know, it's pretty pathetic. That, it's crazy. No, it's probably not. It's definitely not him, I can assure you that. Rich doesn't have time to do that. A wampa, that's right. He's a, they had to write in the wampa striking, uh, striking Luke Skywalker. It's su it's summer vacation. I remember that. Kids get grounded from Fortnite and then have no time. To <laughs> uh, Mothro, yes, I have a couple friends that that have been to Galaxy's Edge already. They say it's amazing. I heard that it makes every other line quicker though. So I'm like, do you want all the other? Oh, all the other, the other rides, rides are fast. Oh, call. nice. That's a good call. call. Oh, that's pretty good. I would do that. You do two days. You do one for Galaxy Edge, and then the other you do. Yeah. Galaxy. There's Corey Kluver. How much are the fast passes? Uh, I don't know. If, well, they don't charge fast passes. You just have to get them, and then say come pass. back at come back three hours later, and then. Oh, the max pass is fifteen. Well, the max pass is fifteen. Oh, there's no, max pass too. There's Corey Kluver for yeah, you can do it Greg. Every, every hour. Every other hour, yeah. This is pretty worth it. Wait, it's and free. So how does it affect? No, like, well, fast pass? passes are free. You just go up to the kiosk, you put your ticket in. You yes, Jacob. It will. Not for a little while though. We're kind of backed up on breaks right now. 
We have, um, we're still doing this break, which will take about another hour or so. And then we've got a noir basketball break to do. I probably haven't been in like. And then, um, and then we could probably do that Game of Thrones break. But if you don't mind waiting, yes, we can. We will break it tonight. I've never been a Knott's Berry farm either. And there's Williams Astudio, rookie auto for the Twins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be for Jason Waters. It's a lot closer. Too. Still still That's doing continuing. It. There's no set base. <laughs> we haven't pulled it yet. What's he, he doing? Like, he has like a bunch of tubs and he has like a put it in tubs. And I was like, we can fit like 20 little boxes. And he was like, he's like, what's he it's doing? Fine. <laughs> yeah. oh, he's coming. He's, he's coming back. <laughs> he's coming back. Well, they, they're like legally not allowed to. Cam Gallagher. Vlad can't be strolled for because there's another one. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm thinking he's not. There must be a photo that I was thinking of. Or maybe the autograph or something. I kept seeing everywhere short print, short print, short print. He's not stealing. I think he might be. I think he might be. It's an elaborate scam. Steal, steal a postal service truck. Get the postal service uniform. Throw him off with the bandana. Yeah, but why would he wear the bandana? He would try to Just look throw at us, official. Throw, throw us off. Just to throw us off. Yeah, but if he if he didn't have the bandana, we would have <laughs> blinked. Maybe the bandana is so crazy it must be true. <laughs> uh, one autograph and two relics and jumbo. So I think this is the, maybe this is the jumbo line, I don't know. Oh, you already started jumbo? Oh. Yeah, I'm almost done with jumbo. Where's, where's jumbo start? I couldn't tell you. Here maybe? Yeah. It'll all be in the, we'll have many hits. I didn't have anything else to do. I think it's right here. All right. I'm thinking the, these is, this is the last two of Hobby, and then the rest of that is Jumbo right there. <coughs> yeah, it's like Ocean's 14. <laughs> Ocean's Jaspi. Instead of the casino. I we're mean, gonna, gonna take down a group breaking I saw the network. In Hathaway Oceans. Uh -huh. How's that? Not really bad. It wasn't good. And I mean, I don't think it's because... I think it's just because of the riding. I don't think the acting is right. Well, that's why I it's think like it's... like the new Ghostbusters. That's why I think it's like kind of offensive to women to be like, Hey, here's Trying Ocean's Eleven, it, yeah. but with girls. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay, but then it's make like it good. It's like the new Ghostbusters. <laughs> right. Remember the well, new same Ghostbusters thing. a few years same ago? Same thing. It's like, yeah. oh, it's Ghostbusters, but Go with, with girls. Them. And then they just... They Copy don't. It. They don't do good writing, and yeah. they don't. They don't shoot it well, and, yeah. and then then it just becomes kind of insulting, kind yeah. of kind of condescending. Yeah, I love condescending. Jacob Watson, Game of Thrones cards are for the wife. Nice, so you can spend more money on breaks. There you go. See, the couple that breaks together stays together. Get her into the hobby, and then. When she sees you joining Brace, she won't think it's crazy. Oh, uh, we've seen we've seen at least three or four of the Vlads so far. Then I thought there were like one per case or something. Maybe. Yeah, I guess there's no number on the back, which is kind of weird. They, but we've seen like three or four already, so that can't be short printed. Maybe shorter printed. They meant to say. <laughs> right. Versus the other cards. All right, there's Tony Gwynn relic. That's nice. on our other channel. Oh, Paul, that's on uh, it's 
on our eBay channel. Thanks for joining. Goes to the Padres, of course. Uh, if you read your item description, Paul, you'll see uh, you'll see the eBay channel there. It's in the same studio. It's in the studio behind me, but just on a different channel. So you can talk to, I don't know if he's on yet, but you can talk to the host there. His name but is yeah, Jason. He'll, name he'll is Jason. answer the messages, too. And he'll be able to handle the messages as well. Oh, well, there you go. Service. You already broke the baseballs? No, it's good. I, I think he's looking on Jackson's case for today. Oh, I see. Um, SNR, are we going to the All Star game next year? Aren't you doing the Gold Rush baseball series? Oh, it's at Dodger Stadium next year, right? The All Star game? Uh, yes. Maybe, uh, maybe HR Derby. Are they thousand dollars? I mean, I don't need at the to sit. old Yankee Stadium. There I don't much. need to sit in the outfield. Well, then why go to home run derby? To watch people hit home runs. Yeah, but you want to catch catch a home run? run? Yeah. I mean, I guess. I'm not, a, I'm not a little kid. Don't you know someone at Dodger Stadium? Yeah, or like MLB. No. We need someone who's like connected. Yeah, we only we only know someone at NFL Network. Oh yeah. We need someone connected within like sports. I don't know anybody. TJ? TJ works for the driller. I don't know how much he has to do with the big like, club, but. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, LA area. Or, like, a sports agent, maybe. Oh, should we. Like, Drew Rosenhaus. <laughs> is, he, is he here in LA? Or, like, uh, who's like the other uh, Scott Boris. Scott Boris is in Orange County. We can go talk to him. I don't think he'd let us in his office. Are you a five-star recruit? Right. Uh, TJ, we need, uh, we need, to, we need to go to the Home Run Derby next year Outfield and have a Jaspi meetup. We realize it's at Dodger Stadium. Oh, right, and there's SNR's podcast with media credentials. Sure. <laughs> I don't know if they give out media credentials to everybody. Maybe someone will come in the store from us. Yeah. Maybe someone someone at, uh, what are some of the big sports agencies here? CAA. CAA, yeah. yeah. We just go to CAA in Culver City and be oh, like, in Culver City. or Century City, I think, Century where City. the Century City Mall is. I don't know is. where Century City is. It's but where the uh, Westfield is, the Century City Westfield. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's some of the big buildings so it's behind it. kind of there. like Culver City. Yeah. And then there's like William Morris, I think, is the other big sports agency that's behind there. We can... Contact Rich Paul. Is Rich Paul in LA? Oh, he must be in LA. With LeBron here. LeBron, yeah. I don't but know where. I mean, where's the Where's the Clutch Sports Office? Do we just go over there and hang out? <laughs> Jay Z. I think that maybe numbered. Maybe not. No, see, th those aren't numbered. Why they, do they have a blue border? I know. See. That's lame. Come on. In Kinsler's an entrepreneur. Yeah. What is he doing? Ian embodied this entrepreneurial spirit when he became co-owner of Warstick in 2017, marrying his passion for business and baseball. What's Warstick? He just invested money then. Is that... W-A-R stick? Yeah, that must be a baseball bat company. I oh, W-A-R-S-T-I-C. Right, just like how like Ryan Reynolds owns that gin company, but he really just put money into it. Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds? Yeah. He bought, like, America Gin Works in, like, um, Portland, Oregon or something like that. I was like, Wee Man, he used to have that Wee Man's Chronic Tacos. Oh, yeah. Isn't that right up the street? It went out of business. Uh, yeah, we know, uh, we, we, one of our friends is, works at the NFL Network. He does the Fantasy Show, I think. I don't know. I forget what show he works on. I think, yeah, that. I think he works in the fantasy show. show. What do they do in the off season? I don't know what they what he's doing in the off season. <laughs> that's that's a good game. He used to go to the he they used to make him go to the combine to shoot other stuff at the combine. 
He was just like that. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I would get that. He was, it was just like, because I asked him this year, I was like, did you go to the combine this year? And he's like, F no. Because <laughs> it's, it's just extremely he boring. He a new job there. Oh, he did? Like he had quit and then he had applied again. Or oh. All right, so I think we're now in Jumboville. We'll do a recap. Do we want to fill the next one? We should fill the next one, folks. How many spots are in the next picker team? With Nick Jaspi here, ladies and gentlemen, that makes this break go by very fast. If it fills later tonight without Nick, then it'll take very long. <laughs> There's Barry Larkin, Reds medallion for David Hewton. Man, we snuck up on two hours really quick. Yeah, see? It's, it's an already an hour in the break. Two hours. Hour 52 minutes. No, that's how long we've been live. Oh. Recording. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh. You got me scared, too. I was like, <laughs> we're just jibber-jabbering, and all of a sudden, two hours of two this break hours. went by. This should be like half that time. Okay. Now by myself, it should be two oh, hours. Oh, so we're only, this is an hour and 30, hour 40 with me. Okay. Right. With pack stack. I don't have a Topps baseball card. I have a custom one that we did at the National. Yeah, I have Remember that the Crying somewhere. Jordan one we did? Crying Jordan. It's classic. They made us delete it. Why? Copyright. They got mad. Oh, did they? <laughs> oh, that's right. They did because they don't have accent. Right, Upper Deck was crying. Yeah. I remember that. We were about to start, like, the biggest lawsuit of the hobby <laughs> history. <laughs> if we didn't delete it off Twitter. Oh, man. There's Michael Conforto. I bet we could sell that card online if I still have it for, like, a million dollars. Um, Yeah. A couple years ago at the National, we had we had this big crying Jordan head that we had printed out. This is like literally this big, right? So it was big crying Jordan, just his head, right? And so we were just carrying that around. I think Bateson made it, right? He had no, we made it. Oh, we made it. What yeah, did he bring? He brought it. He brought something else. But we we got a big we we made a big crying Jordan face, and then Tops had a booth where you can take pictures and you can get like a custom baseball card printed out, right? So we did one with the crying Jordan face. And we posted on Twitter because it was hilarious. But guess who didn't think it was hilarious? Upper Deck, who has all the rights to Michael Jordan, obviously, right? And his likeness and all that sort of stuff. So there's Michael Jordan head on a Topps card. And so some people contacted us and said, you got to get that out of there. Off your Twitter account. Because we have too much exposure. Our reach is too great. No, it was like it was going viral about too. It was definitely going viral. It had like, I mean, viral in the in our industry at yeah. least. It was get, getting some steam. No, no, uh, no, no sense of humor in the hobby, folks. Michael Jordan's fault. I blame Michael. Jordan. I, know, I blame Michael Jordan too. He shouldn't have been crying. It would have never happened in the first place. Why are you watching the? I don't know. Oh, I, yeah, change it. I don't know. Oh, this is a replay. <laughs> See, I mean, like, Carly Lloyd scoring the 11th goal, that's a little much. That is a little much. <laughs> like, dancing. Carly Lloyd the, celebrating to, like yeah, she won the World Cup. Like, yeah. like, I get that part, but I don't mind them scoring. But no, I don't mind them scoring that many goals. don't celebrate that much. A one of one, Jeff Samarja. I don't know why I even flipped that over. That didn't even look any different. It's I got silver, kind of. I got lucky. <laughs> it was was a little extra silver it's on like there. It's the anti Todd Gurley one. Um, yeah, it's Oppo Todd Gurley. Victor Zamora, with the I think they call him the Shark, right? Jeff Samarja. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Shark Jeff Samarja. We don't saw. We didn't bring it. <coughs> this, we were flying there, so we couldn't. We should make one for a new store, though. Although Crying Jordan's a little outdated. Maybe something else. Oh, yeah, maybe something else. Maybe like... Uh... I think I have a version of that card somewhere. We printed out like five yeah, copies we, of it. We asked Tops to do. I mean, Tops made it. The girl did. 
Yeah, she didn't mind. Well, I think they're not even owned, owned by Tops. The workers? Yeah. No, they are. I, I just, oh, they are? I don't think she knows did, a lot of sports. She did not understand she the, the copyright a, implications? She thought, they, she thought it was just a random guy. Oh. <laughs> That's rough. Um, I think we made Darren, who sorted for them, <laughs> do it. <laughs> that was pretty So cool. if it traced back to him. Uh, no, we're not checking the backs of the cards on the second go. No way. Evan saying that's the that Smarge is a platinum variant. There's Jose Barrios for the Twins, Jason Waters. He does have a nice auto. Five out of 25 on that one. I saw a lot of people mad about that, yeah. You were getting to conversations with Canadians regarding the Team USA celebrations. Canadians are too nice. They're like, we wouldn't have done that. We wouldn't have done that. Yeah. We just saw you cheering for Kevin Durant's, like, leg exploding. But no. But then, were, but then they then they chanted against it. They were like, oh. why is this in here? Why you know, is, oh, don't, don't, be, don't be mad that, that Canada will never score 13 goals in a World Cup. There's the crying Jordan. Oh, right there, uh, above my head, there's the Crying Jordan. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Uh, Hudy, did who apologize? The U.S. team? No. U.S. team? No, of course not. We shouldn't have to apologize. I think Alex Morgan said, yeah, it would have been more embarrassing. It would have been disrespectful to Thailand if we gave up. That's right. what she said. Right, exactly. It's a nice spin zone by her. Good spin zone. I agree with everything Alex Morgan says. <laughs> <laughs> She's from my Diamond Bar, too. I think. She is. She went to Diamond Bar High School. Yeah. How old is she now? 30? She's probably like, maybe last she's Bar's Cup. I think she's like 26 or 27. I don't think. I think she's older than that. I think she's, older than that. I think she's a little bit older than that. I think she's 30. It's okay that we don't have a shot anymore. Oh. <laughs> like, I would, like I would want it. Says you. <laughs> <laughs> There's Victor Robles, piece of his bat, Lou with the Nats. Oh, you're right. She's, she's, gonna, she's 29. Yeah. She's been around at least two more World Cups out before this. Uh, I don't know if the Canadians apologize. So, William L., what, what, what were the Canadians saying? They were just not happy with the way we were celebrating these goals? Yeah. They were good I teams. think it was just a few fans that cheered yeah, at the Raptors we were game. Just like, they've done nothing to us. It was like before the finals. Yeah. I think they thought that they were. I don't blame what them. What is this? Just no hitter. Her. No, MLB oh, record. Oh, yeah, there he goes. The scorecard. Wow, that's pretty cool. I can't believe Nolan Ryan had seven no hitters. Isn't that crazy? Seven. That's just mine. I think next closest guy maybe two or th like three or something like that. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. He did. I mean, I guess that. He did one really old, right? Yeah, he was really old. William saying they were not understanding like my contention that the over the top celebrations are not about sportsmanship, more about marketing themselves to to other girls. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, there's that. Well, and there's the goal differential. Goal differential. You could always say that. Always goal differential. That's the only sport you can Cause what, Yeah, because what if some other team just creams Thailand by like 12, nine goals yeah. and then we're 12. like, oh, I wish we would have scored that three more. And then they get the second seed instead of the first. Not score. only that, I feel like some of the girls that scored towards the end were not, probably never going to score another a World Cup. Who's a really dirty player, Marshawn? Yeah. Do you like him? I don't know. I feel like he's one of the guys that, he unless he's on your team. So I'd, tell, you I'd celebrate too if I knew that I wasn't going to score. Or he's if this like, is my like last Cole World Beasley Cup. Yeah. He always, Cole Beasley always bothered me. Or like Miles Austin. Miles Austin had even like when he was on the Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my> God, yeah. <laughs> I was like rooting for him to like not get hurt, but like not play. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Don't fuck up, please. The really good though, but yeah. Just... And we got Yachty, Yachty or Molina. Medallion. 
So what do we got? Seven that is years for until the, the Cardinals for Bill. Seven years until the U.S. Men's World Cup. No, it's two years. No. Um, oh, for the U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, 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 US. it's a little while with the the one here in the U.S. I think, right? Because oh, yeah. the Olympics are coming around the same time too. Huh? Yeah. And then the Super Bowl too. Is like yeah, Super Bowl's twenty three or four years. Yeah. Be a lit but it's gonna years. be here. But it's gonna be here like every three, four years. Though. Oh, the Super Bowl, yeah. They'll rotate it for sure. And they'll have the draft here. Like they have yeah. the, like they have it in San Diego. Yeah. So the weather's perfect in Texas. And it, and they'll have. Oh, that's the. I, I remember there's like a pack toes in use every chance. And we've got for the Mariners. Yeah. Mitch Hanniger. Final four. Autograph. That is, this is, I think this is one of the few sticker autos they have in here. Oh, man, we definitely need to hook up somebody with, at like yeah. Ticketmaster or something. <laughs> and that'll be for the M's. That's for Eric Rittenhouse with the Mariners. Do any single girls work at like Stub Hub or something? Two out of 50. Why don't the media does events at school and shit? Yeah, they won't invite us. From the, or that big coin guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he's always setting up. Everything. He's every every single event. Taylor Rogers. I think these are not numbered, but they'll ship, of course. How about the Angels last night? Anthony Rizzo's stupid Angels. <laughs> oh, the Raiders hard docs is going to be oh, yeah. so good. I mean, yeah, I mean the Raiders are going to be so bad. SNR gaming, really yes. Good. Raiders, Raiders, Raiders hard knocks, they are. They're like they definitely made for that show. <laughs> John Gruden. They're showing like Napa Valley. That's like, is that not even that's, near Oakland, I, I right? I think that's where they're probably trained, though. I think, I think that's where they're training. Oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. No, the Raiders hard knocks like it's gonna be fantastic. Really got me, really. it's good. Like, At first, they, they was, said it was gonna be the Lions. I was like, I'm not even gonna uh, watch that. I wouldn't watch that <laughs> like um, yeah. Matt it's, Patricia. No? I was thinking like was that's thinking gonna be the highest Cardinals, rated. That's gonna be the highest Raiders, rated like since Rex Ryan, probably. Yeah, highest rated hard knocks will be the one, will be the Raiders one. Oh man, what if they hired Rex since Ryan Red... as an assistant, just for hard knocks, and then <laughs> fire him? <laughs> As like that'd, a that'd be great. as like offense and Rob Ryan get both brothers get all, get both yeah. Ryan's there that'd be awesome and like Bill Cowher or something oh. no I bet John Gruden will be having guests and stuff. Uh, I thought they didn't want to do it at first but I can't think I guess they can't I refuse think, I think the owner was probably like we need this and they yeah. do I mean because they're gonna get a good space yeah I think hard it's the last year, year in Oakland yeah. they're playing the Coliseum this year right I think they yeah they got one more year. year. Yeah, Remember they were talking about either going to Texas, to San Diego? Yeah, there's like San Antonio. San Antonio was like speculated too. Yeah, Joe said he wouldn't be a fan if they moved to San Yeah, San I think he said too far. Vegas is fine. It's Vegas is fine, yeah, it's close Vegas enough. is closer to, than it's, Yeah, it's even closer, yeah. But it's not in California, so. I passed by the stadium and so it looks really cool. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing it in the winter. It looked cool. And they had the live cams. I like those. That's what the, this one does too, right? Yeah, the LA. The LA, one. the LA one's giant. I like how the LA got delayed a year because like it rained, it rained once. So once, <laughs> once <laughs> it, it rained on a Tuesday in like <laughs> November, and they're like, "Oh my God, how are we gonna handle this?" Well, because they built that. Yeah, they built that <laughs> huge. They dug that huge hole in the ground yeah, and then I, filled I, with I water. Think, I think when they delayed it because it was raining a lot that time. But yeah, it's like come on. Well, it you rained like twice. Right? There's Yaz. They but it, it filled up the hole of the Ram Stadium. <laughs> yeah, the Super Bowl had to go. Get pushed back a yeah. year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, everything got pushed back. It would have been this year. They would have been. In the yeah. Out of awesome. 150 for the Red Sox, his grandson or grand grandson nephew. Although I guess playing with the Giants. Play here this year. No, they'll so. play like in a year or two. Yeah. Hopefully the Eagles coming first and the Rams coming first and then they yeah. and they come out here. Maybe. I was ready to use that wedding mic for the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, William said they would point out the main sports have been awesome. Well, we're we're trying to help push the them, Rams. push yeah, us versus them ratings. Yeah. If if he made to the NFC, I, I think if he made to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Well, even if they would have lost, they, they would have kept him. They would have just paid him, and they would have kept what's on the rookie contract. Yeah, for another two years at least. Yeah. And then decide what you want. I think your your Canadian compatriots, William, were just. But they would have destroyed. Overreacting. 
fine. People need things to be angry about. Right. They would have won that game too. There's college football coaches that run up scores all the time. That's true. And all those guys are celebrating their touchdowns. But what do you, what do you college do? football is the same way. The rankings are right. dependent on how big you beat them by. Yeah. yeah especially later in the year, once the yeah. point system comes by, it's yeah. like, oh yeah, you beat this Like if Alabama only beats like Tulane by 20 points, then it looks bad. But if they win by 60, then it makes sense. I'm sure you'll see us keep on hard knocks. You want, you, want you want to get in people's heads. If like the next team that only scores like, only beats Thailand by three goals, three, three nil, they're like, man, our, we're not, we must not I mean, be very good. The women's team could get Brett Gardner. If it was the U.S. men's team that beat Thailand, everyone would be like laughing. Yeah, is there is there like a maybe maybe they're not ladylike enough yeah. to score yeah, thirteen like, goals and celebrate like that? Yeah, yeah. It's not polite. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Just destroy. That's all I say. Oh, the men's Win. team could never beat any team by thirteen, 13 goals. No, it would never happen. <laughs> it's funny how. Much better the U.S. women's team is yeah. than the men's team by miles. And they and like they practice in worse facilities, don't they? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> the men's team not making that last World Cup is still like it's just so shocking. Salty, everybody knows about it. So it's pathetic. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean everyone. Well, the qualifying system is bad anyway, yeah. but but you should be beating. Them. But you should be. But yeah. What what was like, it? like, uh, like zero zero to Trinidad and Tobago or something Trinidad like that. Tobago. Come on! <laughs> and then I looked up Trinidad and Tobago that night. There's like, like ten people that live there, yeah. and they're all on the soccer team. <laughs> they're on the soccer team. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like when Little League has to bring people from other towns yeah, to fill the team. Yeah. Like this, you have to get the ringers it's in from like Aruba or whatever, Fiji, uh, wherever Trinidad and Tobago is. There's a guaranteed autograph in every jumbo box. And a relic and a, and a two relics in the jumbo, one autograph, and then one autograph or relic in the hottie. But this is all jumbo right now, so. The jumbo is always a little It's a little more high end. Is there an earthquake or what? No, there were some kids peeking in the peeking in the door. And yell at those kids, Nick. Tell them to get out of here. <laughs> Give them a stack of vet base and be like, all right, get out of here. Tell them to watch the stream. <laughs> Do you oh, think yeah, that was on the microphone? Oh, definitely was on the microphone. I think everyone heard that. Your mom oh. sure does drive a nice car. <laughs> they're, now they're going to come tell. They're going to be like, those those kids in the baseball carts were mean to us. Oh, you, you started a war, uh -huh. Nick. Look what you did. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jackie, you got to be in the enforcer here. Tell we're trying to run a business here. We're trying to live stream. We're trying to run a grown-up oh, business. They're in the car. They're in the minivan. <laughs> Give them a flawless briefcase. Brief I'll, uh, what is it called? Uh, flatten their tires. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Back your car up. I know. They're going to hit my car, too. They're going to hit my 1999 Honda Civic. Alero. The Alero. They're gonna hit my Alero. Wait, where's the Alero these days? In a, on, in a hidden location. I'm not having people steal the Alero. The Alero is a That's a classic. Great car. That's a classic. I, I, I think, I think it's a classic. I've seen it a while back. He's it's still good. He's like, hey, I see Mike in the Alero. The little fucking Oh, house. yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, really? The Alero. Wait, he really saw him? Or yeah, he, he, said he, saw, he said he saw you or your dad. Like a long time ago, obviously. Like back in seventh. That's crazy. I don't think the crying Jordan made it back from that trip, William. We didn't drive it back. We didn't. We didn't. We, we flew. We couldn't. Yeah. They wouldn't let us bring it because it was like. I think we had unfolded it, it by weapon. that point, and then. I think the that who should not be named on it. Back. Oh, I think a basement somewhere. Oh, 
Ooh. All right. Did Korea get? Oh, they lost to France like four 0 They're probably fans of Joe. Did they? Uh, oh, they must be subscribers, and they just, just wanted to be on the camera. Now they can see themselves on camera. Yeah, they can come in. Oh man, if that stuff happens at the news store, it's gonna happen all the time. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, give them the vet base. Yeah, then they'll come back every day. Looking for vet base? Yeah. Stealing all of our vet base? Stealing it. Stealing the rookies. Vet base goes to kids who don't bang on the window. <laughs> yeah. What was that one hit? Uh, was it game one or game two? Oh, you guys can rewind it, right? We have no DVR on this? No, why would we have a DVR? Oh, what, what kind of heathen? What kind of heathens are we? Um, there's Daniel Mengden with that incredible stash. That goes to Eric Rittenhouse and the A's. The France logo is pretty nice. With the, uh, the rooster in there, the chicken. Oh, wait, you had on the wrong channel. I think that goes to the A's. Uh, what do I think about baseball in the Olympics? Is baseball back in the Olympics? Tier 1. We should be getting Tier 1. I don't know if we're going to get any more Tier 1. We might. It was like Tori Krug or something hit him. It was the big hit. Will there be more MLB players season. in the Olympics or World yeah, Baseball the Classic? Yeah, guy got hit, and then he like was so Probably off, World so Baseball Classic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have no idea. I feel like more players would be in the WBC because that's closer to spring training. Yeah, I don't think MLB does. They're doing Olympics baseball? Yeah, is, is MLB allowing players to go to... But are they doing baseball in the Olympics this time? Well, yeah. SNR, according to, allegedly, they are. Wow. It's awesome. going to be back in Tokyo. But are they going to let wow, MLB Tokyo players? Sick. Man, it's, that I, Tokyo I always, baseball game was more electric than any game. I always I thought that uh, it was always college amateur players, right? It that did yeah, I think Olympics. So. That's what they did for hockey for U.S. Because if they get hurt, then it's because MLB doesn't want to pay for the terms. Yeah. Like, like, travel and stuff. Yeah, all the got injured on the Olympics, and now you can't play on my team. I don't know who's gonna. I mean, are, are the Dodgers gonna let Cody Bellinger leave in the middle like of the Jay, summer? He'll be like Jamie Moyer and stuff. You know, like guys who. Did you see that video of the college pitcher where he's like this? Time Adrian Beltre. Like, like, uh -uh. <laughs> he was like throwing up water. <laughs> but like that guy, Bob Leonard, made it seem like he was like drunk. It was like his comic thing. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an Instagram guy. Yeah. He's on that commercial like that played oh, like every. Played, played every two out. minutes like <laughs> during March radio, Madness. Yeah. And I was breaking, and I was just like, I had to mute it. Robert Robert Grease thinks it's going to be a high-scoring game in the Santa Cup. 6-4 Blues. Wow. Oh, and then, and I saw that, I think, maybe. Like, five times. Like, it's just like a water hose. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> it's probably like a blue horse. Yeah. That's funny. But yeah, they, they're eating who knows what. These are just to be top loaded, yeah. Big sexy in the Olympics. Where's he would that TZ Venezuelan? Bartolo Colon? Yeah. Damn, what he played. <laughs> he said he wants to play the Olympics. Isn't he on the minor league Olympics? team for the I don't know where he's, he's on the minor league team. See, I don't know how many how many major league baseball clubs, if they're if they're even allowed in the Olympics, how many would allow their stars to zero, go play? Absolutely zero, zero. Absolutely zero. This is actually a slider box. Cody Bellinger's not going to go there. Which is the weird part. I'm not having Mike Trout play for Team USA. Right. And break his leg in the Olympics just because some kid on Team Italy wants to make a point, wants to prove a point. Didn't, like, wasn't it crazy? Like, Team Israel did really well last did they really? baseball classic or something like that. Starling Marte for the Pirates. That's going to go to Michael Gallucci. I thought Bartolo Colon out of signed a minor league contract. Did he? Last month. He should sign a minor league contract with an MLB Texas team. Rangers. This last says, but maybe he got cut already. 
Or maybe it was fake news. It's Max Muncie. See, this is what I saw, but maybe that's fake news. When was that? February 14 and 18. Oh. Yeah. I guess that is last year. <laughs> <laughs> I, it feels like... <laughs> it feels like it was last year. It feels like it was like, yeah, I swear I saw it, but maybe they just, someone just brought it, the story back. Well, they should bring him back to an NL team so we can see him hit. Oh, he's already 45. I think he's done. Matt Harvey, he can be on Team USA. <laughs> Send him out for Send Team. Send him out there. Or whatever, Team yeah, like Italy or whatever he is. That was cool. The Capitals got to spend time with Stanley Cup this past week. Oh, I would too. It's yeah. not going to be with them anymore. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had a photo of like Ovechkin laying in the middle of the middle. Like, like, <laughs> that's like, it'll be right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a ball pit? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. The stress, the stress. Yeah, they, that's what they have at like Google, probably. There's still 14 left in uh, two. But that was in single digits. I guess no one wants to do another one of these. It's not. <laughs> They're right, but like, it's still the same break. <laughs> Alright, that's all we have left right here, folks. I guess you have to do it on your own, Joe. Oh, I don't want to do it on my own. It's double the time, probably. It probably will be. Hour 37 right now. Yeah, it'll take me like three hours to do it. Three hours. I guess people want to watch you open the packs. They don't like I, my old pack. I guess opinions. so. sold out. Yeah, I think that's after this. Oh, almost forgot Eloy Jimenez. How can I forget about him? Ooh. Rookie auto, Eloy Jimenez. He just had a bomb the other night. Jeffrey Goldberg with the White Sox. He finally hit his first home home run. What year is that? That's, um, 84. 1984. Hit his first right. home run at home, and it was like 462 feet or something insane like that. It was a bomb. It was just it was a pitch center cut right down the middle, and it was just crack, and it was flew. He tattooed it. Uh, yes, Robert, you should go to the College World Series. In Omaha? Yeah, I want to go one year. Omaha! Omaha! And there's Dakota Hudson. Dakota Hudson with the Redbirds. That's going to go to Bill and the Cardinals. Did he smell like weed? Out of 150. Or a post office guy? Yeah. Or reefer, I should say. Reefer, as your dad calls it? Yeah. The reefer. Oh, yeah, seriously. That's, <laughs> That's like some days of confused. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you know when he's like, what did he tell the kids they was smoking reefer? <laughs> <laughs> it's in like that 70s show. Yeah, they say that too. Yeah. yeah. I can't, de I can't deal with the no decoys here. <laughs> I know, where do they all go? They used to I thought you moved them. No. You moved a huge stack, though, and then I obviously like three. I had a stack of them, and then they were gone. Yeah, you know you we had a lot of booklets, maybe, so they'd be used. Unbelievable. Well, maybe we would use them all, yeah. We haven't had a product that had decoys in a while. No, yeah. It's been a while. Don't we have, like, huge, like, yeah. sleeves of them hiding behind here somewhere? No. What? 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 The table should not, ain't nothing on this table should be touched. <laughs> it's like a center there. 
Joe's gonna have sensors in his break studio. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna write on that stack of decoys right there, being like, Cody, I know it's you. <laughs> Oh yeah, put like a. They're in a vault. I'm gonna put <laughs> the decoys. I'm gonna put like a. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put it's, one of those. It's like, like the Men in Black scanner. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put one of those ring bells <laughs> yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. It's like ding dong. <laughs> Who is it? Cody. Oh hey, what's going on? What do you What do you mean? Decoys. No decoys here. No blank cards here. You get robbed of decoys. Dude, you would pay a lot of money. A dollar a piece. Get, no, not like a dollar. <laughs> what if we got a dollar a piece you for them? I would just start to. buying products with decoys and then get a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> dollar a pop out of a those? Lot of, a lot of hockey products have decoys all the time. But yeah, upper deck does. Ones. Upper deck does. I like tops because they're thinner. Upper yeah. Deck does, but yeah. Upper deck always does a lot. Like SP Authentic is in every SP pack. Authentic, almost. A lot of them so what are, what are they doing here? Are those all people with their phones? No, so usually like a game that came to the like candy one, stuff. They give you like a little oh. like, either on your wristband or Oh, that's chain. pretty cool. I saw one time though, it's like as a Super Bowl, it was like you download the app and yeah, it would sync to the too, music. Though. At the Bad Bunny concert I went to, they gave us a little wristband and uh -huh. like you lit up the whole thing. Yeah, that's cool. It was Kevin Pillar. It's a nice shot of Kevin Pillar. Do you get to keep the light up thing? Yeah, they give it to you. Oh, nice. I don't I only know Tarasenko and Schwartz of the Blues. And uh Alright, we got three stacks to go. Riley's been the best player. Kyle Gibson and Vlad Guerrero Senior. Out of 25, nice. Seven out of 25. 150 year medallion. Expos edition going to Lou in the Nationals. Should be Angels. Vlad Sr. Charlie McElroy's pretty good, right? He was yeah. a rookie, what, two years ago? Yeah, last year. Oh, last year. What about actor James McElroy? You think he'd play a hockey player? I don't know who James McElroy is. Uh, Professor X. I don't know. Who That's right, he's a uh, young, young Professor X. From Split, you know? He's got a... Oh, uh, he was in Star Trek? I don't know if he was just um, uh, X-Men. Who's the guy in Star Trek, the bald that, guy? That's, uh... He's also in X-Men. Okay, so I'm, think, I'm thinking of, like, the right path. Yes, you okay. are on the right path. I'm not, like, way off. No, no, no. I was, okay. I was just like, I, I, see where, okay. I was, like, sitting here going, I see okay, where your head's cool. at. I see where your head's at. All right, well, at least... But, uh, no, this is when Professor S X is uh, younger. Yeah, okay. the new ones, I think. Not Leonard Nemo. Although he right. wasn't bald in the first couple of them, right? He had hair. Ozzy Smith bat. I don't think I've ever seen an M. Night Shyamalan movie. 49 out split, of 50. Right? Ozzy Smith, yeah, Cardinals. No, M. Night Shyamalan. I think he's the director of Split. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, Sixth Sense. I see dead people. Right? Yeah. That's from it. I've never seen the movie. you never seen the movie? That's oh, and it's been spoiled for you already? Yeah. It's pretty good. Well, he... He's, I don't, I don't know what happens. That Bryce Harper was a short, how many? Is he, is the kid dead? No. What's the spoil then? I'll uh, never watch it. You'll never watch it? No. Bruce Willis is dead. No, I think that little kid came out in the, Wait, the Bruce new, Willis, is the dad is dead? Well, yeah. the little kid came out in a new movie. The, you know the one Netflix, the one with um, Ted Bundy? The out. Zac Efron one? Yeah. The little kid that came out in the movie is all grown up now, obviously. Yeah, know, yeah. Like, movie, movie, movie. So basically, up. anything that funny. our shipping team will kind of keep an eye out for too. Anything basically where they're, where they're not playing baseball yeah, is uh, is a I short print. Is he Haley Joel Osment? Yes. Oh, okay. The kid in Six Sense. Wow. Yeah. I'm really good. You haven't even seen the movie. He's uh, Emily Osment's brother. I don't know who Emily, Emily Osment is. Used to date Andre Drummond. You know who she is. Because we talked about. From it. Yeah. No, that's not. That's that's I that I Carly girl's not Emily yes, Osment. Yes, that is. That day that 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 yes yes hooked yes. up with Andre Drummond. No, yes. that's not. Is really? Her name is something else. It's Osment. It's an Osment. No, that's false. Yeah. Look it up. That person's. I Carly. It's 
It's poor man Selena Gomez, and, and then Carly. it's the other girl. First of all, she's way better than Selena Gomez. McCurdy. Yeah, Jen, Jeanette, Jeanette, Jeanette McCurdy. Wow. I was yeah. gonna say, I Come was on! Gonna Don't do you even I Carly, bro? <laughs> do you even I Carly? Come on, man! Emily Osment. So what is it? Why do why do we have to, why do we know Emily Osment? That's Emily Osment. Why do we know her? You why don't is know she? Her? No, I don't. I have no idea who she is. First time I've seen her face. Maybe she was in Hannah Montana. No, I don't. I, I don't Hannah Montana. Uh, but yeah, I Carly. But I I Carly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's only. It's only only too many shows I can watch. Only, only so many shows that I have time for. She's born in Los Angeles. Yeah, she's in Los Angeles. I think she okay. is like a That's Disney funny. star. Oh, That's why I remember, yeah. See the Nickelodeon Disney before. And she's in uh, the Spy Kids trilogy, Joe. I didn't watch any Spy Kids. I heard... I watched the first two. What? Oh, the first three. I the first three. Uh, one of them... They have Antonio Banderas in it, right? Yeah, all of them do. All except, of them do. Except after I heard, they changed. And it has... I heard that the first hot. two are, like, actually kind of yeah. legit. The third one's kind of cool because it's seen in the movie. Antonio Banderas, smoking hot wife in it. Wow. Who's, who's Antonio Banderas married to? Well, in the movie. In the movie. Oh, in the movie. What's the actual name that came out in the movie? Carly... Carla Giugino. Yeah. Wow. She also came out in the other one on Netflix. That was a good show. I don't. I don't. You don't watch the Haunting on Hill House? Oh, you don't watch that? Yeah. I don't watch it's a good show. I, get I don't like scared. it. Either, but it's a good show. <laughs> I Carly should run our live streams. I would have. I'd have Jeanette McCurdy run our live streams. No, we need the other guy. The Miranda Cosgrove. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Cosgrove. Miranda Cosgrove. She's going to UCLA too. There's Freddie Freeman for the Braves. That medallion going to Dennis Moore. We are almost there, folks. It's just this stack in the foreground and that stack in the background. They, those two look alike, Emily Osment and Jeanette McCurdy. No, they do not. I think Emily Osment is actually more attractive. I mean, probably, but they don't look anything alike. Mm. There's Kevin Newman. They're both blonde. What? Which one dated Andrew Drummond? Yeah, which one dated Andrew Drummond? Jeanette McCurdy. Yeah, and then her, his phone got I remember when I seen that, I was like... And then his phone got out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, Andre Drummond, how tall is Andre Drummond? And, then, uh, what's that and how small is Jeanette McCurdy? We're going down a dirty path here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. Down a dangerous path. I, I think everyone sees the optics. <laughs> everyone sees the, 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 the size differential between Jeanette McCurdy and Andre Drummond. Gibby? No, not Gibby. No one's watching at this hour of the video anyway. Nathan? I remember it, though. I remember that kid. <laughs> Only the 50 people watching live are going to hear about this. This video is going to get, gonna those get kids, two like, views. Are watching in their minivan right now, and they're going to get like Freddie, Freddie Benson. They're all like, when that picture came out, she's like, "What are you recording?" That's Freddie? his. That's an actor's name, but I don't no, think no, no. his real name is Nathan Cress, but that, in the, in the Kevin Newman. His name is Freddie and I Carly. Yeah, Freddie Benson. I don't remember that. I, remember I just remember the dad who was in Drake and Josh. Essen, are you on an internship at Jasper's? Who's, who's no, you're probably you're probably too busy with your media credential podcast. I was like Carly's brother. Oh man, that's right. I think you don't I, have to. I think Drake and Josh ranks above it. Yeah, Drake and Josh is pretty good. It's actually on Netflix now, I think. Oh man. What's Where on Netflix? Drake and Josh. Or was that like some classic? That was actually just. Laurel, like, what are we talking about? Nothing. Just we're just theater. we're just talking about just just Hollywood yeah. Hollywood uh celebrities and athletes dating each other. The curly hair. That's it. Theater man. Just talking about, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, talking about how Jeanette McCurdy you know, and Andre Drummond dated for a little bit. There was a good show. Everybody hates Chris. Chris. Yeah, That's a great good. show. With Chris Terry Rock Lynn, narrating. Yeah, like Terry Cruz and like oh, he's so funny. He's so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't wasn't Terry Crews office linebacker? In those commercials? In what? Terry Crews. Office linebacker. No, maybe not. Maybe that's Terry Tate. What's office linebacker? You don't remember office linebacker? Never mind. You kill the Joe, you make some mo. I know it's he great, like, some great commercials. He was like me too against himself. Oh, did he me too against himself? No, someone me too him. Oh. Multiple. Nice. And then everyone's making fun of him, and then there was a huge outcry. I felt bad for Terry Crews, cause he's funny. He's in Brooklyn Nine Nine, I think too. Oh, but he wasn't. Can't win. Yeah. They brought back that show, but on a different. Uh, yeah, it's on right? NBC now. That was a such a good. All right, last stack right here. I always like that because they always play with the Backstreet Boys song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to see the Mark McGuire, Bash Bros, Annie Sandberg, Lonely Island Netflix thing. The new he, one that just came out? Yeah, I, I need to see it. They're supposedly going to go on tour, aren't they? Really? That's what I heard, the Lonely Island. 
And we've got Yadier Molina. Nice autograph Ooh, for nice. Bill. The Carlin, some of these autographs have been nice. Active Hall of Famer. Yeah, he'll be first ballot, right? Yadi? So. I wish they saw that laser that followed the puck. Like Fox. Uh, like Fox? It, you know they brought it back one game for the Fox had yeah, the, glo they the glowing puck. <laughs> they brought it back for one Kings game, right? Yeah. On like a throwback on Who wants the glowing puck back? I do. On Fox broadcasts. That actually helped back in the day. Yeah, but now... Yeah, with the quality. At the time, people hated with, like, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was terrible. But now, like, it's it funny because so 90s is in now, so everyone wants it. But like, but like the TVs are so great these days. Yeah, you can yeah, see yeah, the puck. Well, it's like it's the NFL with the yellow line. Yeah. Like people think the people yeah, who've never real. seen an NFL game, yeah, the, the, like in real. person, sometimes wonder think why there's no the, pictures on the field. <laughs> yeah. Where's the yellow line? <laughs> I don't know what down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what what's the down in distance? <laughs> I remember the snow game. Yeah. I remember watching that in Rosarito too. Oh, yeah, you did? yeah, it was like the ocean there and then snow on the TV. Cause that was like one of the only Eagles game that year that was local. I think. Cause I got that game. In oh, he's back. Oh, 14, that's right, 14. 13. What's he doing? Why is he back? He's bringing us more bags. Oh. Is there any more stuff to steal? Jaime? What's his name? Jaime. Hi, was his name Jaime? Huh? What's his name? Like Jamie Kennedy Jamie. in that movie? Jamie. Yeah. But Have you ever seen Jack that? Was thinking it was Jaime, but Jamie. <laughs> What's that Jamie Kennedy movie? It's like, thanks, Jaime. Jamie. Oh, it's Jaime. Oh, uh, oh it is Jaime? Those of you that go out there, I was like, <laughs> Como te llamas? I get confused too. Austin Romine. Jamie Kennedy movie, what is it? He's like the. And then we've got Justin Smoke for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Stacy. Uh, yes. XFL is coming back last uh, next year. Oh, it was Lester Speed, aka is Terry Tate. I see. Malibu's most wanted is the movie I'm thinking of. Uh, that, movie, that movie I think is underrated. Malibu's yeah, really Most Wanted <laughs> is pretty under underrated, I think. <laughs> when they have to bring their cats. <laughs> so you want free willy? It's I like... just remember when he's at the gas station. That's a really good one, too, I think. Good. There's Fry Jace. No, I've never Jace seen Fry? Harold and Kumar. Okay. No, I've, I've only seen the first two. I didn't see the other one. The, the Christmas one? They, they made so out. many. There's CC Sabathia, the 150. That jersey will go to Monty. I've never seen Super Troopers either. Super Troopers is pretty good. Did you see the new one? Did not see the new Super Troopers. I feel like that's kind of like you don't make a second one. Oh! A lot of ones you don't you shouldn't make a second one. Uh, so make it too late. Like I feel like I, I have mixed. I don't know if Toy Story Four doesn't look good to me. Toy Story Three to was me it looks, awesome. It looks pretty good. Three looks great. I mean, all the th first three were great, but. I thought, yeah, the second and third, I thought was actually. I like the second one with the toy bar. Yeah. Was there Finding Nemo 2 was whack. Finding Dory? Finding Dory, yeah. That was okay, Rain. but yeah. I've never like, seen. We get, we get it. We want more The Ella. worst Pixar rated one was uh, a few years ago, The Good Dinosaur. I didn't see that one. That was... I heard it's like so bad. Well, I don't even hear about it. <laughs> There's a video on YouTube that like pops up on my recommended. This movie ruined the Pixar brand. <laughs> oh, wow. And then it's about good dinosaur. <laughs> Over dramatic like YouTubers. This British guy who's like. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right, William. <laughs> William's like, you can't make Titanic 2. Oh, yeah. You can't make, that. <laughs> can't make Titanic 2. It's hard to make some memorable Pixar movie now. Like, Frozen hit the mark. And the yeah, they're making the second one. Yeah. Well, they just do it. Just Addison's, like, Addison's son says the new Chucky movie looks dope. Cars oh, yeah, 2. There's a new Chucky movie? Starring Cars 2, Mark Cars 3. So. It's coming out the same day. Starring as, John Gruden? It's coming out the same day as Toy Story 4. Is it really? Yeah, because they, like, in the Chucky posters, they used, like, Woody's hat or something. Whoa. It was, like, some shade thrown. Yeah, wow. Plays the voice. 
And Mark John Gruden's Spurs, playing yeah. Chucky. Because you know, I didn't realize yeah. he did the Joker for a long time. Once he, he did. He did the old Batman animated shows. Mark Hamill does a lot of cartoon voiceovers. And ladies and gentlemen, we are almost there. Am I gonna be able to fit this? <laughs> Andrew McCutcheon, Andrew Teagues, Triggs at the very end. Thanks very much, everyone. That was our double header, our dual case break, hobby and jumbo oh, of today's packs, brand new packs, 2019. Oh, we got silver packs. 2019 Series 2 baseball. We got silver packs to do. Oh, boy. I didn't pack stack those. These are fire, though. These are good, yeah. I mean, there's a chance at some good ones. There should be 24. I don't know how to count it, so you don't have to count. Uh, do I have to count for the camera? Unless One, can, okay. two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, Man, nine, like ten, eleven, person, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and the twenty-four silver packs going to their respective teams. <laughs> A pack stack them. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Yeah, all these ships. So. And these all ship? The base, yeah. And everything ships here. Is there a special? Are there hits in here? Yeah, yeah there's chance at autographs, oh, parallels, nice. and they Ooh. sell really well too. Ooh. The rookies always sell pretty well. Ooh. Oh. Is that a bowl? Oh. I mean, Emmerich just gets so excited. He gets so excited. He blows his load. <laughs> I'm like a slap shot. <laughs> yeah. Ben and there's he, he just Nick, started playing in January. Nah, Nick Martini to 199. No, not Nick Jaspi. Nick Martini to 199. Come on, focus. There we go. That's a great last name. Like a good, like if if he's an entrepreneur, he'll sell like t-shirts. And Tuki Toussaint autograph. Nice. That goes to the Braves. Dennis Moore. Benny can just start in January, right? Yeah. He's been, he's been really, really good. Johnny Sports like Cards. What's going on? This stuff's over. Nice Toussaint well now, yeah. to 149. Goalies are a little bit different. They, they take time. Oh. But after every game this year, he's lost the Chipper ball. Jones to 199. Just put them in the same stack, I guess. Yeah. Oh, the series, the silver pack promo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right, next stack of six. Out of 75. <laughs> There's Luis Urias to 50. Next stack. Hi, Glenn, Glenn Campbell's lamenting the fact that nobody wants to break lumens. It'll happen. Maybe, but maybe tomorrow. Maybe tonight. Who knows? There's Mariano Rivera, nice, to 150 for the Yankees. Chipper Jones, another one for Dennis and the Braves to 150. And there's Ernie Banks to 199. Let's play two. You got five seconds to keep it under two hours. Oh, I'm not going to make it. 
because we talked about Malibu's most wanted. Probably. <laughs> we we, we wasted. We, we, we yeah we put we we devoted at least three minutes to Malibu's most murders. wanted. <laughs> and murders. And we talked yeah. about murders a lot earlier in the, the video. And the male guy. <laughs> the male guy definitely. And the kids knocking. The kids there's been a yeah. lot of distractions. Yeah, there's a lot of distractions <laughs> in this break. Like we, we could have saved 15 minutes on this break. Yeah. There's a lot going on. People banging on a window. Who knows what was happening? Cheech and Chong mailman. Cheech and Chong mailman coming through. <laughs> Murder talk. Jeanette McCurdy with Andre Drummond. How does that with, work? With Emily Oliver. With Colby Osbert. Emily Oliver. <laughs> Colby Osmond. Oliver to 99. Emily Osment versus Jeanette McCurdy in UFC. Right, <laughs> UFC. Oh, yeah, that was so funny. I just remember they went to Japan for one thing, too. That's so funny. And we got Dakota Hudson to the 199 at the end, and that'll go to the Cardinals. And one last thing to do, and then this break is over. Let's do the f Tales of the Franchise. I'm surprised you caught that. I know. I, I was like, what else did I forget? And then I looked around and I was like, oh, there's that too. No, I'm just surprised you caught that out of the break when you're doing it. Is it oh, numbered? No. Oh. Wow. Left, center, right. Don't be 11. Okay, it's three and a three, six times. Right, One, two, three. I just rolled it again. <laughs> four, five. <laughs> 11, started. forget it. We're not doing yeah. it this 11 times for that card. Right side will get him. So all the right side cards will get him. There you go, folks. Two hours, one minute, and 40 seconds. We did it. Thanks, everybody, for watching and hanging out with us and listening to us ramble. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks, Nick, for the help.